Well, I'm going to show you guys my, how I make a potassium chlorate out of potassium chloride. Um, it's pretty simple, but you know, if, you, if you don't know what you're doing, you can shock yourself or poison yourself. So, yeah, let's get started. Uh, okay, this is this is mine here. It's pretty simple. It's a uh, you know glass, a little Tupperware container. It's pretty neat. Uh, pretty simple setup. You know, got my got my tube running out here. You know, just going wee going all the way. Go outside, so I don't poison myself with chlorine gas. It's kind of kind of a bad thing. I got my positive and I got my negative. So, power source over here. Just a computer power source. Pretty, pretty simple setup. Uh, I'll show you how to get that running in a few minutes here. But, I'm going to show you how I built mine. It's not too hard. Um, the major part is getting. Is getting the electrodes out of the battery is what I used. It's uh, uh, it's graphite, so you know I've tried a couple other metals and it wasn't very successful. So um, don't think you can quite see inside there, but I'll give it a shot. You can see you can see the two sticking down over here. There's two of them. There's my other one here. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna pop the lid here so you don't poison myself. Hold your breath. I'm seeing it bubbling away there. Let's hope, hopefully, get something out of this because it's kind of my first shot. Not sure if it's gonna work or not, but give it a try. Well, if we start it out here, I'll. Uh, drill a couple holes that we need um, and my setup how I did it is I drilled two holes that I put use the put the electrodes in from the batteries that I'll use I'll show you how to get those out right after this and then I uh, drilled a hole here this is you know where my my tube goes out to vent the chlorine gas, so we don't have that floating around inside. And then I got another hole right here that's uh, a stainless steel nut, you know, uh, complete the connection. So that's that, and you know, uh, use super glue, uh, but that didn't work out so good, so just used hot glue. Um, just make sure you seal off everything really good. Or else, you know, you have some chlorine gas leaking out, and that's that's not a good thing. So, I'll show you how to get the get the electrodes out of uh, out of the battery, which is pretty simple. All right, so this this is the battery that works best because you can get the longest electrodes out of them. Um, so just, I mean, get the cheapest one because I mean you're not using the battery itself; you're just using the electrodes, the graphite electrodes inside. Um, comes with four cells inside, so you can get a total of four electrodes. I'm using two in my uh, in my cell, um, so I'll show you how to get those out. So you gotta pop off all the plastic on the outside and get to the cells on the inside, so that'll take a minute. But I'll fast forward uh, to uh, how to get the electrodes out. Um, this is what it looks like once you pop the top. As you can see, there's four batteries in there. Um, and this is what you get when you pop it out. Okay. First thing you need to do is kind of peel back this ring on the top because we're going to need to pop this pop this plastic off right on top here to get to it so it's pretty easy just get a pair of needle nose pliers um, kinda twist away see if you can grab a little piece at the top here and 
twist it back. Try not to shock yourself and do that every now and then. It doesn't feel too good, but it doesn't not like threatening. Ugh. Ah, there it goes again. Alright. Let's see here. And once you get the plastic off, this little ring on top should look like this now. You're just gonna grab your needle nose pliers and grab the little nub at the top here and twist and just pull softly. Don't just yank it out because you could break it. Mm. All right. And you can discard this. You won't really need this anymore once you take this out. This is useless. So just throw this away. And once you pull it out, it's got a bunch of sticky shit on it. Um, so wipe that off so it's easier to mess around with. Um, also be careful because you could break it. And the longer the better because then you could submerge it into the, the solution a whole lot easier. Um, have a little bit more room to play with as well. Um, as as I showed you earlier, um, they need to need to protrude out of the top of the container. Um, let's see, I'll show you here. Oh. So here's mine once again. See how they stick out just a little ways. Okay, and. I connected mine with some wire because they both need to be connected to positive. Okay, um, and I, I put a couple washers around them so uh, I could e easily hot glue them because it does actually get quite warm and you don't want it to kind of melt the container and fall through. So I put a couple of washers around them and hot glued it so they would indefinitely stay on top. And same thing over here. I did that for my uh, my screw, big washer on that side, and little nut to keep it from falling in as well. So, um, but get you guess you kind of get the gist of how to make the container now. But it's very important to uh, have that hose going out because it does build pressure inside and the gas is poisonous. It's chlorine gas, so you don't want to be breathing that in at all. So make sure you vent that outside, or at least do this experiment outside. Um, I'm doing this in my, uh, my shed, just so I have a roof over, over my electronics. And, uh, but just, just keep, keep, keep the tube running outside, or under the door, or whatever. So. And uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the power source, which is which is relatively easy to work with as long as you have a spare. Um, so I'll go ahead and get that set up and ready to show you. All right. Well, you know when you yank it out of the back of the computer, you got all these pretty wires and just a big old mess. Um, so you're going to need a positive and a negative cord, which is always red and black. So I chose two red and two black and I just cut them cut them away from the main circuit here um, as you can see there's the, the bare wires there these ones are um, would be would be likely to choose I, I left a bunch uh, just in case I need to reconnect them at some point not sure why I would need to but they're there just in case I do. Might be something smart to do. Um, there is one other very important thing that you need to know, um, or else your power supply won't turn on or won't supply power. Um, it's kind of like the on and off switch on the back of your computer. This kind of bypasses that so this can sit freely and you won't need an off and on switch. But to turn it on and off you will need to uh, plug it in. It will always be on when you plug it in and as soon as you unplug it it will turn off um, so I just got these two wires connecting to two main two main wires positive and negative got them running all up to those clamps I'm sure you saw earlier so positive and negative I like the clamps because they're easy to take off um, 
when you need to empty the solution or empty empty what the contents inside. Um, so that's that. We'll go ahead and move on to how to bypass the off and on switch. On the main 24 connection uh, connector here, there is a one standalone green wire. You see it there? Okay. Yours should be the same. There's only one, so it's hard to miss. Okay. As you can see in the front here, do you see that? I'm not going to touch it because I might shock myself. Uh, do you see that little little clothespin inside there? You're going to need to bridge this clothespin or oh. all right. Sorry about that. Ran out of battery. So as I was saying, you need to bridge the connection here. Okay, the green wire. You can just uh, take that over and take it to one of the, one of the black wires next to it okay either on the right or the left um, as long as you do that you can get power if you don't do this you won't have power so it's very important to do that you can either uh, wire up a switch as well I just thought this was easier a little simpler just took a couple couple seconds but if you want to make get it fancy and do a switch you can go ahead and do that too um, this just works for me so do what you want when you uh, go ahead and do yours um, but be careful because electronics they will shock you okay we could stop your heart or die whatever but um, just be careful when you uh, mess around with all these uh, bare wires um, so that's how you get your power running um, again you can you don't have to use clips you can just you know wrap the wire around bare wire around the well, around the connectors here. Go ahead and do that too. That works just fine. I just thought uh, had a couple of these lying around that I just used those up. And uh, I guess I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, I have I have some uh, in the future getting some uh, MMO anodes and um, so they won't dissolve as fast because over time your your graphite graphite uh, electrodes here will, will will dissolve they'll just be gone and it'll all be in your water and it'll be all dirty and nasty but you will have to filter that out and I'll probably get to that at a later date we'll see how this goes I'm gonna leave it on for maybe a day or two we'll see what happens so I hope you enjoy the video and maybe learned something or didn't know something when you're trying to work on yours because I know the more videos about this the better. It helped me a whole lot. So, um, uh, guess we'll see you. See you next video.